When Alyssa was 12 years old, she heard the opening gunshots of the Russian Revolution from her apartment window in St. Petersburg. The idea shaping this revolution was that the individual must live for others, for the state, and sacrifice personal happiness for the good of the collective. Soon, Russia descended into a communist dictatorship. This was the beginning of 20th century totalitarianism, which eventually killed millions and millions of people in Russia, Germany, China, and elsewhere. But long before the perpetration of these atrocities, Alyssa was morally outraged by the very idea of collectivism, by collectivism's denunciation of the individual. She saw its essence as an attack on the most intelligent, able, and heroic among men. And to attack the heroic was to attack Alyssa personally. Uh, then the Russian Revolution was uh, February 1917. Then the Communist Revolution was the so-called October Revolution. And that was in, the, in that same year, October 17. Uh, we left in the fall of 1918. By that time, there was a civil war going on in the uh, south in the Ukraine. And there were so-called White Russian armies. Um, we wanted uh, to get out uh, to escape communism, simply. And uh, father got a permit to travel on the ground that uh, my sister, who had had pneumonia twice, needed to go to the Crimea. So that's how we managed to get out of Petrograd. Now, that was in the fall of 1918, and we came back in 1921. By 21, uh, the civil war was over and the whole Russia was communist. I began to suddenly found myself, in effect, uh, asking a lot of whys in an abstract manner and begin to define the reasons for what I believe. And then I realized that what I was now doing is, uh, is thinking in principle. Today I would say it was a process of integration, really, but that I wouldn't have known then. I think it, uh, it may not be irrelevant that, that that was the year of the start of the revolution. The first, the springboard for it was the fact that I was very much in sympathy with the February revolution. Uh, because, you know, it was the bloodless revolution where everybody was for freedom and the whole atmosphere. So, though it was in a kind of a sentimental Russian way, nevertheless, it was all the glorification of freedom. In my terms, it was the individual. But today I would call the rights of the, of the individual. Why the individual's right? Why is it right for him to be free? Why is the strong, independent man important? By what right can anybody tell a man what he should do or what he should live for? And of course, then when the October Revolution happened, that uh, when my first uh, conviction began of a kind which I remember specifically concluding, the one that I mentioned in the preface to the delivery, that uh, uh, nobody has the right to tell men to exist for the sake of the state. That the evil, which before that I would have called collectivism, although I wouldn't know the word. It would be the group, the herd, that kind of, of entity, now began to be statist, conscious. In contrast to the increasingly bleak prospect of life in Russia, Alyssa's high school studies included an introduction to the United States of America, the world's foremost society of individualism. From the earliest age, I had the impression, even before the revolution, that culture, civilization, anything which is interesting, as I would have put to me, is abroad. Now, uh, I, in a general sort of sense, thought that I would probably be a, a writer in Russian. Therefore, I don't think I thought of settling abroad. But what it amounted to would be that I would probably live abroad, as many Russians in those days did. Uh, that in one way or another, what I would have considered my home would have been European culture. I didn't begin to even discover America till about the last years uh, of high school. Uh, for the first time, incidentally, it was only in the last year of high school that they gave us a small course in American <laughs> history. Before that, in all history courses, they gave you only Europe, Russian history, of course, and European. And it's in this particular high school in the South, when I graduated, they had one course on America. And uh, to me, it was almost incredible. 
Before that, America was mentioned in geography books, but not as history. I didn't really know about the Declaration of Independence or what the American system is until the last year. And I'm not sure that I even would have grasped it all correctly. I would not have had a clear idea of capitalism or collectivism. All I knew is that that's the country of individualism.